We've had a pullback at the start of the new year, two days of heavy selling. Okay, is the, will the bull market continue after this? I suspect the market's up today because I'm on your show. Americans uh, get, get optimistic <laughs> when you and I get together. But, you know, Sir Will, uh, John Templeton, famous investor, mm. you'll get knighted soon too, I'm sure, uh, once said that bull markets are born on pessimism. And if you think of the last two years, you know, investors have been extremely pessimistic. In fact, the S&P 500 is only back to where it was, Stuart, two years ago. But the crazy thing is, is earnings have gone up since then. So companies are more profitable today than they were two years ago, yet the market's not higher. Mm. So I think, you know, overall, markets are actually relatively cheap if you look at it over the course of the last two years. Mm, relatively cheap. OK, so it's not too late to get, at, get back in or get in? Yeah, I think that's the point. Because I think now people are, are in skeptic, uh, skepticism. You know, they were pessimistic. Now they're skepticism about where the market's going to go. So you're still sitting in cash. Maybe put some money into an S&P 500 fund, which arguably you're just buying the Magnificent Seven because that's most of that index. But right now you have like literally two thirds of sectors out there are cheaper today than they were two years ago. We're talking about energy, financials. So there's a lot of places to put your money. And I think the mistake everyone's going to make again is falling into the pessimistic, you know, being skeptical of what's happening. We're in a big booming bull market. You've got to position your portfolio for it. And I would say I look at probably more portfolios a month than any uh, advisor out there, and I can tell you most people are not positioned for a bull market.